If you have elevated blood sugar or prediabetes, one of the best things you can do to reverse the condition is to use a continuous glucose monitor. And the Dexcom Stello is a CGM I recommend the most in my practice. The second best thing you can do is to track your diet with an online food journal. And Chronometer is one of the best nutrition tracking apps available. And if you're doing both, you can now see all the data in one place. That's right. So you can set it up so that your Stello app shares data with Chronometer so that you can have a comprehensive view of your glucose readings alongside other health variables. This will make your efforts even more effective so that you can quickly reverse blood sugar dysfunction. This video is going to give you the details on one, how to connect the two apps, and two, how to begin to compare and use the available data to find out what factors are affecting your glucose numbers. For those who are new here, I'm Julene Montgomery. I'm a board certified holistic nutritionist, and I specialize in helping people with prediabetes and other blood sugar issues issues to reverse the condition. And I've been doing this for over a decade. Please subscribe to get the latest blood sugar tips. So let's jump in to connecting the Dexcom Stello and Chronometer. The directions I'm going to provide are specific to the Apple iPhone because that's what I'm working with. However, the process will be similar for Android phones. Dexcom Stello does not yet connect its data directly with Chronometer. So the process that we're going to follow is to first connect Stello with Apple Health or with Android phones, it would be connecting with Health Connect. And then once that connection is made, we'll connect Apple Health with Chronometer. So first connect Stello to Apple Health. To do this in the Stello app, tap settings at the bottom of the screen and then tap on connections, then tap Apple Health. It's gonna bring up a box that says sync data between apps with Apple Health. Tap get started and it will give you specific directions on how to connect through your phone. So you can follow those directions and then come back to the Stello app and tap done, where it will ask you if you gave Stello access to the data and you just tap yes and then you're all set. Once that's done, you'll then connect Apple Health to Chronometer. In Chronometer, tap the More icon at the bottom of the screen, then tap on Connect Apps and Devices, and then Apple Health. Once you've connected both Stello and Chronometer to Apple Health, Chronometer will be able to pull in your glucose data from the Stello app. Now, something to note is that Chronometer will retrieve the data every three hours as it's synced from Stello to Apple Health. So there is a three hour delay and you won't see live data in Chronometer. I hope this is something that they'll change in the future. Uh, if you wanna force the retrieval of data, go back to more connect apps and devices, Apple Health, and then tap on backfill. Indicate the date to which you want to fill data back to and hit backfill. And that will essentially force sync the data. Now you'll need to do a, just a little bit of adjusting on how Chronometer displays the data. So in Chronometer, go to charts at the top of Chronometer and then scroll down to where it says CGM chart plus insulin. Tap on the little arrow just to the right of those words. There you'll see that Chronometer's default is to display the data in millimoles per liter, which is more common in countries outside the US. So I'm gonna assume you wanna change that since Stello records the glucose data as milligrams per deciliter. To change that, tap on the settings icon. It's the little gear icon just above the words 72 hour. And that will bring up a screen called CGM chart settings. Tap the down arrow right next to where it says CGM chart units and select milligrams per deciliter. Now, while you're here, you should toggle off the show insulin button since Stello does not track insulin. The Stello sensor is only for those people who are not taking insulin. Second, make sure that show on dashboard is toggled on. And then last, also make sure that the glucose target range is set to normal, which is appropriate for prediabetes and is 70 to 140 milligrams per deciliter. Tap on the little X in the upper left corner and you're finally done. 
and you should see the data displayed as milligrams per deciliter. Now, let's get into the good stuff. How to use the integration to benefit your blood sugar. Now you have your glucose data and your dietary data in one place on chronometer. The best way to see everything is to stay in that charts area on the CGM chart. There you can adjust the view to 24 hours, 48 hours, or 72 hours. But remember, the three hour view will not display data because there's a three hour lag in the data being sent from Stello to outside apps. But it's on this screen that you can also choose what to compare your glucose data to. So for dietary data, I recommend first and foremost choosing carbohydrates to compare. You do this by scrolling down just a little to where it says compare. In this example, it shows cholesterol being compared. To change it, look underneath that chart where it says nutrient on the left and cholesterol on the right. Click that little down arrow next to cholesterol and it will show a drop down list of everything nutrient related that you can compare. Find carbs and tap on it. So now you're set up to compare your glucose data to carbohydrates. You can then scroll up just a little to see your glucose data chart. And here's where having the data comparison really shines. So let's break it down. First, you can see your glucose data line with little indicators of where you had meals, assuming that you have been entering your food data in chronometer. They're the little black icons with a fork and knife on them. So similar to the Stello app, when you touch the screen, it will provide the specific glucose data at a specific time. And when you touch the screen on the individual meal icons, it brings up a little black box with even more data in it. Specifically, it shows your glucose reading at the time you ate and the amount of carbs that were consumed at that meal. Down below the chart, you can see the breakdown of the specific food items that were eaten at that meal. So if you had a spike in blood sugar that went outside the suggested range of 70 to 140 milligrams per deciliter, then you can clearly see what food and the amount of carbohydrates that caused that spike. In the example here, you can see the meal I ate, which was summer sausage and an orange, and it contributed 23 grams of carbs. And that gave me a borderline excessive spike. As you can see, the data line turned yellow where it started to go outside of that range of 140 milligrams per deciliter. So this is great information to look at on a regular basis so that you can start to determine what I call your carbohydrate tolerance level, the amount of carbs you can consume before you experience an excessive glucose spike a spike beyond 140 milligrams per deciliter. Carbohydrates in particular are the key macronutrient to track to reduce the insulin response and to reduce excessive glucose spikes. Using this approach with chronometer and a Dexcom Stello CGM on a regular basis will help you understand your carbohydrate tolerance level so that you can normalize lab results like fasting blood glucose and hemoglobin A1c the very labs that your doctor is most likely reviewing on a regular basis if you've been diagnosed with prediabetes. Now, the info provided in the little black box will change to whatever nutrient you're comparing. If you choose protein, then it's gonna show the protein total at each meal. You can also compare your CGM chart to a biometric like heart rate variability or body temperature. Now to do that, you need to also be wearing a watch or a Fitbit or maybe even an Aura ring that tracks those metrics that you can then sync that data to chronometer. Similarly, you can compare exercise to your glucose readings. So if you've been entering your exercise data into chronometer, then you can compare that data with your glucose data. Whatever it is you want to compare to your CGM chart to choose, whether it's a nutrient, biometric data like HRV, or exercise data, you're going to scroll down to the compare area and chart and tap on which variable category you want to compare to. So either nutrients, biometric, or exercise. And then similar to how you chose carbs as the nutrient subcategory to compare, you can choose the subcategory by tapping on the subcategory variable just underneath the three variable headings with a little down arrow 
and it shows a drop-down list. So that's how you get started, using Chronometer alongside the Dexcom Stello to uncover the root causes behind unstable blood sugar. A key component of this effort, as I mentioned earlier, is finding your carbohydrate tolerance level, or CTL. If you'd like to learn more information on how to conduct experiments to find your CTL, check out my video on that right there. Thanks for tuning in. Please like, comment, and share. I'm a small player on YouTube, so those really help me out. I'll see you next time.